Use the graph to determine the x values at which the function is discontinuous. For each x value, determine whether the function is continuous from the right, from the left, or neither. So reading the graph from left to right, our first discontinuity occurs at negative 4. And now we want to ask, is it continuous from the left, the right, or neither? And it looks like it's going to be neither because f of negative 4 is not actually defined. Our next discontinuity occurs at negative 2. And again, we want to ask about its continuity. It looks like it is continuous from the left. As you approach negative 2 from the left, the value of the limit is 2, and also f of negative 2 is 2. So we're continuous from the left, but not continuous from the right. The limit exists, the limit is approaching negative 2, but the right limit is not the same as f of negative 2. So it's only continuous from the left. Moving along, our next discontinuity occurs at an x value of 2. And now we want to ask, is it continuous from the left? As you approach 2 from the left, it looks like our limit is roughly 1 half, but f of 2 is not the same. f of 2 looks to be 3, so it's not continuous from the left. Is it continuous from the right? As you approach 2 from the right, we get a value of 3, and f of 2 is 3. So it looks like it is indeed continuous from the right. Our next point of discontinuity is at 4. And in this case, as you approach 4 from the left, the limit is going to negative infinity, but f of 4 is around 2. So it's not continuous from the left. Is it continuous from the right? As you approach 4 from the right, the value of the limit is approaching 2, and f of 4 is 2, so we can say that this is continuous from the right. 